colorful backgrounds, magical elements, ridiculous looking original characters. Yep, this is Ponyville, all right. Now help me look for a unicorn, Morty. Its magic would help <clears throat> us to stop our universe in a great danger from the crabnolable species. D does it have to be a unicorn? Of course it has to be a f***ing unicorn, Morty! You, you you think an ordinary pony would save the day with its uh, puny kicking ability like some sort of f***ing Pokemon? Yeah, I didn't think so, you little div. Now quit your yapping and let's look around. Hey, Rick, since we're here, shouldn't we come across pony versions of us? God, I uh, hope not. Pony Rick is the third worst Rick ever. Really? How so? Let's just say he tries to be funny by making outdated meme references 24-7. Oh jeez, Rick! That's- that's terrible! Wait, if Doofus Rick is the worst Rick, then who's the second? What the hell is this?! What, what, what made you decide to draw yourself like this?! I just figured, you know, what me and Connie would look if we- Can't you see you two are perfect just the way you are?! This is such an abomination! Don't you have other things to worry about? Like family, your job, paying taxes, and life in general? Screw that This is the real issue right here, Steven! Now I want you to redraw this normally, or I'm gonna blow your brains out, Steven! Ah, <sighs> that poor pathetic man. Anywho, let's go find ourselves a unicorn, Morty. Uh, Rick, before we do, can we stop and get something to drink first? I'm feeling really thirsty. Morty, why didn't you say something before we left? I don't know, I I wasn't thirsty then! <sighs> alright, alright. I'll go find you something to drink. You stay here and keep an eye out for any unicorn. And just so you know in advance, Morty, I I don't care what it looks like. Just make sure it's got a horn and and and, ma and magic. That's that's the key, Morty. <laughs> Oops! Sorry about that. Should have looked where I was going. Well, this is different. Never come across a species like you before. Oh, well, um, I, I, I'm not from around here. Uh, you see, I'm from a different dime... Town! Uh, yes, town! <laughs> really? Same here! I'm here to visit a friend that I haven't seen in a while. She doesn't know it yet, but it'll be a nice surprise. Oh, wow! Th that's so nice of you. Does she happen to be a unicorn? Why, yes! Yes, she is! Kind of an odd thing to ask. She helped me become a better pony by standing up for myself and not letting others push me around. Huh, I wish I had a friend like that. What? Uh, I mean, my name is Morty. Nice to meet you, Morty. I'm Pomel. It's nice meeting you as well, <laughs> Jeez, not a unicorn in sight. Well, here you go, Morty. Drink up. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> You're drinking yak milk, son! <laughs> Rick, it's all over my lips! Ha 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 ha! You just been ricked, bitch. <laughs> oh, Morty, you're, you're so gullible, I, I I couldn't help myself. Oh, I love it. You know what, Rick? I, I, I was just about to tell you that here is about to see her unicorn friend, but seeing that the way that you're acting- Take us to her! Uh, uh, that is, we'll need a simple request from her. Please? Hmm. I'm not sure if Rarity would like more than one expected visitor, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind. Oh, thank you so much! Follow me, I know where she lives. So Morty, um, you think she's hot? What? No! I'm not some freak that would date a pony, even if she looks adorable! Whoa, whoa, Morty, dial it back a little. You know there are people that find ponies attractive, right? You saying they have issues or something, Morty? Huh? You think that's normal, Rick? <clears throat> no, but they're still human, Morty. Also, who are you to judge? You used to have the hots for that one anthropomorphic cat before. Remember, Morty? M remember that one time we almost got purged, you little hypocrite? W well that's different, alright? <laughs> yeah, sure. I know the way you like them, Morty. Nice and fluffy. Now, hold on a sec- We can discuss this later, Morty. Right now, let's just get this over with and head back home. I can't bear to look at some of these disgusting looking ponies anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, come on, Morty. Let's get going. Hey, Rarity! Surprise! <laughs> oh, Miss Pomel, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I figure since it's been a while, I wanted to check and see how things have been lately. Also, I brought in new friends to visit as well. 
any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Who are they? <laughs> What's up? Miss Pomel, slowly back away. Is everything okay, Rary? Rarity, what are you doing? Oh, jeez, Rick! You think you're all that, huh? Well, you just mess with the wrong Rick, sister. What in Celestia? I'm getting Princess Twilight about this. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. If everybody would just relax and be chill for a second, uh, we'll make this very simple and no one will get hurt. You mean no pony, right? Rick, do you have to be so aggressive towards that unicorn? In my defense, Morty, she was the one who attacked me first, so I had every right to take action. That's because you're slimy human scum! <laughs> wow, never thought I'd live to see the day ponies to be racist. Not all humans. I mean, Rapunzel is cool, but other than her, you are all a terrible species! Given the way things have been lately in human society, I don't blame her, Rick. Uh, get me out of here! <clears throat> Not until you give us some of your magic. What?! I won't release you from this goo unless you put some of your magical unicorn dust inside this jar. That's disgusting! W w what's so foul about magic particles? While strolling through the park one day, in the very, very month of May, I was taken by surprise by a pair of roguish eyes. While strolling through the park one day, to the park one day. Besides, wouldn't it be best for you to get an alicorn's magic, specifically Princess Celestia's magic? Then again, she could easily annihilate any intruder that tries to attack her. Yeah, I recommend paying her a visit. We rather not waste time with anything that claims to be a quote unquote princess. Now just give us your magic already, unicorn! Oh! My word, what's your mouth? There could be children present. Does this look like a face that gives a flying f Yeah, I don't think so. Now hand it over. Never in my life would I... Actually, given some thought, I would gladly supply my magic to you, darling. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to mention that this gel also serves as a lie detector. It can measure your heart rate and breathing, so it knows when you're lying. Because it's a lie detector. I know how one works, you jerk! Always gotta think ahead when it comes to my inventions, Miss Feisty Pants. You're a monster, you know that? And sticks and stones may break my bones, but what you say I'll never give a shit about. Now give me your magic just, you horse! Ew, darling, what's wrong with your pupils? Ew, looks like a chipmunk scratched up your eyesight. Oh, you're one to talk. You and your humongous eyes. Honestly, now, my features are very beautiful compared to how you present yourself. Also, don't get me started on your odor. And here I thought the Daring Do convention was bad. Oh, jeez, here comes the whining. Whining? I am not whining, I'm... Is whining what you want? You got it, pal! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work on me. Do that again, and I'll shoot one down your throat. Well, Morty, looks like she's not cooperating. Of course she isn't, Rick! You're torturing the poor thing! I mean, her fur is white as snow. Why would you harm a creature like that? Whose side are you on? Did you forget the whole hating humans bit earlier? Yeah, she's so innocent! They should have merchandise of her with the tagline, Rarity hates the majority of the human race. 
Just saying. What are you babbling about? Nothing, you little... <sighs> Looks like you're giving me no other options here. I'm gonna give you to the count of three, and if you don't supply me with your stuff, then I'm gonna... Ooh-wee, Rick! I can help solve this little dilly of a willy if you like! Mr. Poopy Butthole? Uh, how did you get here? You know me, Rick. I'm always here for the family. I was just about to hold our friend hostage at gunpoint, but whatever. What? Ooh-wee! I won't let you down, Rick! Huh? What in Celestia's sake is going on? All right, Miss Pretty Unicorn Lady Thing, I want to be your friend. But in order for that to happen, you'll have to give my pal Rick some of your magic. I'm willing to give you 25 schmeckles and also half of this rap bowl. Get that thing away from me! Also, you can't bribe me with your schmeckles. Whatever that is. Ooh-wee, this is harder than I thought. Well, I didn't want to do this, but it's time to use my ultimate weapon! Bridget, ah, stop! So annoying! Please stop my head! Ah! All right, all right. I'll give you my magic. Thanks, Mr. Poopy Butthole. You're the best. At a time, Rick. I'm here to dust it away your problems. That might sound unicorny, but I don't give a heck. Ooh, ooh wee! Ha <laughs> ha! This guy. Yes! I got the power. So does this mean that our dimension will be safe in the Crab Nolables? <sighs> no. I just needed this for the party. What? Haha! <laughs> you just been wrecked yet again, Morty! That's twice in one day, son! Uh, after all that, you, you you pulled that trick on me again, Rick? How could you? What can I say? It's great to pull pranks on your dumb little ass, Morty. I mean, seriously. Crab nolables? That was just something I made up while I was taking a before we left. You're a real Rick! And that's the way the news goes. Now come on, Morty. Summer is waiting at home with the rest of our guests right about... Wow, perfect timing! Score 1,000 for Rick! Wait, you two planned this without telling me? Why would we? Then we'd spoil it for your surprise birthday party. You know damn well my birthday is until another month, Rick! Well, that's your loss, Morty. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I am so very sorry about all this <laughs> My grandpa can be quite the, uh, person sometimes. <laughs> well, I'll, um, leave you two to it then. Uh. Bye! Sorry I had to do that to you, Morty, but it's just easier on me to trick you in situations like this. Don't rub it in, Rick. Wubba lubba dub dub! <coughs> oh, hey, look! Uh, Morty, it's human Rick! Hey, hey, y you guys want to share some of my Szechuan sauce? No? Well, more for me then! Ha <laughs> Oh, yeah! Drizzle it all over me! Yeah, yeah! F me up with that good Right there. That's Szechuan sauce! That's sweet. I'm just mad to hey, hey, Does anybody want to squash this squash? I'll give you 50 shrekles to please this little thing! <laughs> Grandpa Rick, you've returned safe and sound. I didn't think you, you, you'd you make it back alive from those wacky ponies with their <coughs> hooves. Oh my god, Summer, I was only gone for like a half hour. How were you already intoxicated way before me? Half an hour was way too long to wait, Gramps. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so sorry I burst at you like that. I'm a happy summer, not a dr dreary winter. Hey, Mort! Get it, Summer! Hey, don't be such a mort on the butt. <laughs> Get it? Because mort rhymes with 
wart. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, he's... Ta-da! Look what I managed to get a hold on. <sighs> yeah, baby! Now let's get riggedy riggedy wrecked up! Huh. Eight minutes. Pathetic. Rarity, I'm so sorry about what happened back there. I didn't realize they were gonna harm you. It's all right, Miss Pomel. You didn't know. Though I swear to Celestia, if I were to come across one more human today... You know, I gotta ask, what's your grudge against these creatures anyway? Well, if you must know, a long time ago... <laughs> See, Marco, what did I tell you? A world full of candy-colored unicorns! <laughs> Look how precious they are! Check, please. Is horse stuff still even relevant? Hey, it's not my fault that the animator guy is so slow and doesn't have a watch. Hey now, cut me some slack here. It takes time to animate one of my videos. Plus the fact that I got my personal life, my job, friends, family. 